Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome back to Farz Luzi and I am here with another new tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you the easiest way of dosing and burning. After watching this tutorial, you can apply dose and burn effect on your portrait and can add little more depth and dimension within just few minutes. So let's get started. So this is the picture where we will apply the dose and burn effect. Before that, I want you to search on the Google about contouring makeup. Okay, after the search, you will find all these images. You can use any images as your reference or as a guideline. Look at this. Look at this. You can use any one you want look at this so it's your choice okay uh, I'm going with this one let's bring it on Photoshop okay so I'm using this one as my reference picture and you can see uh, the darker area the darker line this area this area uh, this area are indicating the burn effect and then the lighter area this area are indicating the dose effect so come into our main picture okay so uh, at first create a levels adjustment layer okay let's rename it to dose okay so uh, click this uh, white point and drag it to the left to make the picture bright because uh, this layer is for the dose effect okay so I think I think this is fine okay now click on the mask and press command and I to hide the effect okay then create another levels and rename it to barn okay so uh, click on the black point and drag it to the right to make it darker as it is a barn layer so I think this is fine okay again click on the mask and hide it by pressing command and I or control and I okay that's fine now press B to select the brush and hardness 100% okay and select the foreground color white okay that's perfect now let's jump into this one and look at this okay at first uh, we will add uh, dose effect so here you can see this area this area this area and on this and this scene nose so you will apply the dose effect here so come into the main picture okay now just paint like this that's good and on this area And on this, so I think this is fine. This is right. Maybe you can add some on the above the leaves. So look at this. I think I have covered all this area. So now come into the barn layer and select the mask. Okay, now look at this. On this this okay so oops paint here here and like this oops no problem and maybe here and here So 
so i think this is fine okay so right now it's looking not that good but okay for in the barn layer just click on the mask twice and you will find the option density and feather just increase the feather value and look at the changes look at this it's gone and it's looking uh, fine to me around 40 okay let's go with around 45 that's good now look at this before and after okay okay you can increase it again i think i should go with around 55 we can sense any time and for the dolls layer just click double click on the mask and increase the feather value around i think around 60 is looking fine okay let's go with 60. now i have applied just two layer and look at the senses this was the before okay and this is after this is a huge sense okay look at this that's fine but if you want more perfection you can apply blend if option okay just double click on the right area of the barn layer and you will find this blending option okay now come into the underlying layer option for the barn layer click on this white point look at this press central option or alt key and split this icon and bring this one and look at the senses very very carefully i think let's go with this press ok and for the dose again double click on the right part of the dose layer and this uh, this time press central option key and click on this black triangle icon to split and bring this one here like this i think let's go with this and now look at the senses this was the before and this is after you can always uh, increase the feather value like this i think here i'm going with 70. so make a group of this by selecting this two layer and press uh, command and c and look at this this was the before and this is after you can always decrease the opacity to make it realistic i think let's go with 55 or maybe 45 and look at the difference this was the before and this is after it's really really easy great another layer okay uh, this time i'm going with the softer brush you can add just you can see a light here on the nose i want to increase this one just a little by clicking on this look at this maybe here too on the lips yes it's looking really good oh maybe <laughs> it's not that good uh let's decrease the opacity i think the lips this one is too bright so okay create a mask and paint with black brush let's decrease the opacity from here 20 percent and decrease it okay that's fine now look at this this was the before and this is after it looks really really good to me and it is very very easy so that's it i hope you love this tutorial if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe